When you think you've had it all about this issue, more events are unfolding. Mark Davis recently released an audio message, an alleged conversation between him and Suleiman, where he was telling him that he would delete him. However, Suleiman also released another audio to counter that, saying that he never did. He was not actually talking to him, he was talking to a lady in 2017. Hi guys, you're watching M Chicky series. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you for your support. I quite appreciate that it's good to have you around again and if you are new to this channel thank you for clicking on this video make yourself comfortable as we get right into this gist so recently pastor mike davids released an audio which is supposed to be an alleged conversation between him and apostle suleiman where apostle suleiman was making threats to him saying that he would delete him i avoided you because of the way you talk but it's clear to me now that you are possessed with a demon. The same thing that makes me avoid you, keep repeating them. You will die premature. God will punish you. Whatever you're looking for in this life, you will not get it. I stepped aside now to make this call. God, you will die on timely death. I, I, from the day I noticed you don't know how to talk, I stopped talking to you. It's like you didn't notice. I was free. I was chatting. From the day I noticed your mind, you don't know how to talk. When I notice it, I say, I'm, because I'm very temperamental. My temper is not good. That's what I'm telling you tonight. I'll make you disappear. Disappear as how, sir? You are a bastard. Stay off my phone. So, and when this video was released, a lot of people were in the comment section saying that this is not Apostle Suleiman's voice, that this video was doctored, blah, blah, blah. But eventually, Apostle Suleiman released another video where he says that he is the one, that's his voice, but he wasn't really talking to Mike, that he was talking to a lady, and that was in 2017. So what really caught my attention was that the way his gullible members were in the comment section defending him, if he had not come up to make this statement, people would have said, oh, it was Dr. it's not him. But I'm not saying that Mike is innocent, okay? Based on the audio that Suleiman released, which is a bit longer, and at the end of the audio has the voice of a lady, Mike allegedly removed the voice of the lady and included his own voice, which has a lot to say about who Mike is. And if you also listen to that audio very well, you will also understand that that audio exposed who Suleiman is, based on his discussion with that lady. Mike has said doctoring videos when he started this case. When you look at the video he made, when he made the first video, the picture was cropped according to Pastor Sam Oe, that the video, they took the video in the hotel. Mike now cropped where he was and his wife and now matched the picture together with Suleiman to make it look as if to say that they are in the hotel together. I have issue with the credibility of his story by doing that based on the interview granted to both of them on different platforms it is very very evident that two of them nobody knows who is saying the truth two of them came up with two different convincing stories which i don't even know who to believe but at the end of the day i've taken what i wanted from both of them and the video sam Ukbe shared said a lot of things about who they are because i can't understand that Suleiman gave her $2,000 to give to Mike, she decided to keep back the $1,000 and confiding in Pastor A, and he didn't say anything to her. And he never bothered to say that to the husband. It's now when everything busted open that he is now saying that. So at the end of the day, these people are there doing their own thing, supporting themselves, sharing their dollars. And the money that is in question, probably they use it to cover up for themselves because the money in question is too much money. You are supposed to be using Naira, but they're busy sharing their dollars. These people are just there to enrich themselves. All of them in this case, including Mike, Faith, the ex-wife, Sam Okwe, Apostle Suleiman, they are in the same business together. That's what I understood from what is happening. There is one thing or the other that when you look closely, you will see that these people, they are trying to cover something. At the end of the day, it makes it very difficult to say that Mike is the victim because he has been with Suleiman for close to 16 years now. He didn't say anything. He didn't come up with all these bad things that he claimed that he's doing to him. It's only now that he came up with this story. And again, remember that he's collected the bright price of the ex-wife, but Mike is still saying that he wants the wife back, that the wedding ceremony they did, has some legal binding probably they registered it in the court i don't know the reason why he wants the wife back but that is up to him if he wants to take the wife back it's okay but the issue is that the wife might not be the same woman he left 
So from their whole story, there has been really been lies and some cover-up they're trying to make, which when you look closely at the story, you will know where they're coming from. You understand some of the points they didn't mention. There are some things happening, but they didn't mention it. They were busy talking about what they want people to hear, which I think if they really want the court of public opinion to judge their case, they should come out and say the whole truth. So I want you guys, make no mistake, nobody is victim in this case. They're just trying to expose themselves and me i'm here watching if there's any updates i'm going to bring more to you guys so that's it because i can't understand the reason why mike should be in that system for 16 years and he never spoke up and he knew all this were happening because he said that he has a lot of evidence why did he not speak up so that's where i'm questioning the credibility of mike and him coming up with a doctored video initially and this time around again removing the voice at the end of the original video and saying something to make it look as if to say he is being threatened so he better find a way to go about this case otherwise he will not be able to get anything out of it honestly he will not he's not going about it rightly he's going about it the wrong way by doctoring evidences who does that what he doesn't know is that people see through all this and him doctoring evidences doctoring audios doctoring videos says a lot about who he is that means people might end up saying that what he's saying are lies that there is no truth in what he's saying so he should be careful the way he doctor all this stuff because people still see through it people still analyze these cases and mike is not helping situation he should say whatever you want to say then you bring the evidences you have and present it like that is better than trying to doctor whatever you have it doesn't make you look as if you're saying the truth so the earlier he realizes that the better for him it looks like he didn't want to visit this case but immediately he heard that suleiman gave the wife a branch to pastor that was when he started the drama he wanted to bring everything to light according to the story he left the wife i think 2019 so why are they talking about it now we're in 2021 then for suleiman he has already responded the way suleiman was raising his voice and threatening whoever he was talking to in that audio <laughs> I wonder, he was really threatening brimstone and thunder as if you blow somebody up. And after he said, I'm going to make you disappear. Really? So you have somebody's life in your hands that you can make the person disappear. <laughs> now, wow, this is what I can't really understand. Some people believe that they are demigods. That Suleiman released a video where he apologized to the wife and his church members about the words he used in that audio. In that video, he said he apologized, said that he's sorry for the kind of words he used, that he was actually talking to a lady and not to Mike, that Mike is saying that he's threatening him. Why should he threaten him when the story that he has come up with is not credible and stuff like that? But what is a bit worrisome is the choice of words he used in that video and him saying that it was him talking to a lady in 2017. I don't know, my mind is telling me it was during that time of uh, Stephanie Otobo's case. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Do you believe any of these people? What are your thoughts? I'm going to sign off here. Stay healthy and safe. Remember to share this video with family and friends if you love it. And subscribe to this channel if you've not done already. And I'm going to catch you guys in my next video. Bye and remain blessed.